Okay, so welcome ladies and gentlemen to our today's presentation about the Unified Management Agent or short UMA for Windows 10. My name is Sebastian Kupiela and I'm a system engineer in IGEL and I'm going to talk you to today's presentation. I already included the Windows 10 machine in my UMS just to show you how it looks to be able to shadow the device. So that's my Windows 10 PC. We can check the system controls to see what it is. So that's not one of our SIM clients. You can see here it's an Intel Core i7. Um, this is a virtual machine running on my host system. And the installation of our management agent is pretty straightforward. Like I said before, best practice would be using the, the policies. But if you are using it for testing purpose, just start the installer and follow the on-screen instructions. If and everything works fine, you will see that IGEL setup button on your desktop. You can start it. Yep. And if you are familiar with IGEL devices, you will recognize our IGEL setup. It looks like every other IGEL setup because it's based on Java, so nothing new for you there. What is different? Obviously, there's a little less in settings because it is not predictable what kind of software is installed on that image. So in our first steps, we included Citrix receiver. RDP is uh, on board on every Windows device, so that's quite easy. Uh, but also we have here an Horizon client. What is different here to our embedded devices? You have to choose if you want to configure that client via RG setup with the first checkbox find on the main tab. And then there is a text field where you can um, put the path to your client into. For example, here we have the standard installation path, program files, VMware, Horizon client. If you're installing those clients by, with the default path, it will work just with checking the checkbox. But if not, you have to give the path to the exe. And if you did that, you can configure all the global settings you are familiar with and also you can add sessions to the client, create shortcuts. Well, it won't work right now because I haven't installed the client. So this is just an example. And the important part is when we go back to the UMS and scan our local network for SIM clients, you will see that it will be obviously recognized by the UMS. There it is. It is already included. It says that is my UMA 10 device. I can include it to my UMS. I can put um, profiles on it. For example, here I prepared a profile which puts a media player, Windows media player icon directly to my desktop. So I will just drop it to my device. Say now. And let's take a look what happens on the client. Yeah, there's the question from the UMS. The system got a new configuration. Apply the set changes now. Yep. Let's do that. Windows always has to sign out. So let's sign in again. And there we go. We have a Windows media player I can on the desktop set by UMS. And well, there are lots of stuff you can do from the UMS. I've, nearly everything works, what also works on our embedded devices. You can use the file transfer to put any files on your device. You can um, use task within the UMS to restart the, dev the device, for example. So it is a nice and tidy solution for people who don't want to pay for a full-size desktop management solution. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions, please
please feel free to ask. If not, I already wish you a very nice day and bye-bye.